انما يتقبل الله من المتقين السلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته my dear brothers and sisters this is ashraf jamal with you and inshallah i'll be taking next few moments of your time to discuss about a subject called taqwa from the sense of sacrifice and hajj the word qurbani is derived from the arabic qurban which has its root in the arabic word qurb meaning nearness the purpose of offering qurbani is to draw near to allah so the entire purpose of the sacrifice during this month or this month of hajj is only to draw closer to allah uh, through qurbani we affirm that we sometimes forget in the busy day to day activities and hustle and bustle of life that we completely submit to will, to the will of allah and we are willing to sacrifice whatever is asked of us to be close to him and gain his pleasure that is allah's pleasure just as prophet ibrahim alayhi salam did so many many years ago so the entire concept of uh, taqwa in relation to sacrifice and hajj is to draw closer to allah and to fulfill the legacy that was completed by Ibrahim alayhi salam along with his family members thus an important part of qurbani is remembering to hold on to our sincere intentions and striving to be closer to Allah through this symbolic sacrifice the story of two sons of prophet adam alayhi salam is a fine example of sincerity and purity of sacrifice for the sake of Allah we have two sons of ibrahim alayhi salam we have habil and kabil there was a dispute between them for that to resolve a difference between them adam alayhi salam asked both his sons to make a sacrifice and whoso ever sacrifice was accepted that means he is a clear winner according to what adam alayhi salam proposed to his sons and since habil was a shepherd he offered a ram to be sacrificed while kabil tilted the land so he was a farmer who was looking after crops so he offered some produce grown from the land so that means you have uh, habil who's a shepherd and kabil who is the one who's tilling t- tilted the land cultivated the land and it is understood it was understood that habil took care to select the best animal one which was healthy and well fed whereas kabil wasn't willing to offer the best to his produce so then then what happens is allah accepted habil's sacrifice ascending it to the heavens and he rejected kabil's sacrifice from this story we understand apart from sacrificing whatever is demanded from us as believers or the servants or the slaves of Allah it should come from a sincere effort and it should also have uh, purity it should also have the ikhlas to do it only to please Allah and we go through the process of selecting what is best to be sacrificed The story of Habil and Kabil illustrates that sincerity and purity of intention are the most important part of the qurbani sacrifice. Part of this is seeking a worthy sacrifice as Habil did and to ensure it is well treated and sacrificed in an Islamic fashion. It is also about understanding that like zakah, qurbani is not an annual task. or tax that we should tick off to do list it is deeply spiritual activity and an and a chance to draw closer to allah we all know the sacrifice of uh, ibrahim alayhi salam along with his family so i will not be indulging much of my time into that rather i'll be moving away from that into reflecting on something uh something that's less spoken uh the ram that uh one of the son uh one of the son of uh, uh, sons of adam alayhi salam sacrificed that is habil was the same ram according to one of the tafsir is that it is reported that the ram that habil sacrificed was actually accepted by allah 
and the ram sent down to Ibrahim was the same ram that Habil had already sacrificed meaning that Allah had ascended the ram to heaven and then sent it back down to Ibrahim to be sacrificed and we have a report by Ibn Abbas عنه, who said that the ram which had grazed in paradise for 40 years. So the ram that was sacrificed by Habil was the same ram that Allah has taken it to heavens, gave it life and it was grazing in the gardens of paradise for 40 years before it was sent as a miracle to Ibrahim السلام, in replacement of Ismail السلام, to be sacrificed and this is the Qurbani we still practice today even uh, it, uh, it, uh, till today every Eid al-Adha and it is important for us to note only make our intention sincere but also to keep in mind the rich history behind Qurbani so for every Muslim it is important apart from the sacrifice we also need to recall upon the legacies of these prophets and uh, the, the sacrifice of one of the son of Adam salam, that we follow till today. The legacy of Ibrahim salam, and his family sacrifices are particularly important part of our history as we learn every year at Hajj uh, when we commemorate the, those actions. And Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has reported to have said that I am the son of two sacrificed people referring to the fact that both his father Ad, uh, Abdullah and his ancestor Ismail السلام, were almost sacrificed for Allah's sake emphasizing his connection with Ismail السلام. I hope my brothers this gives us a deeper understanding of what sacrifice means during this beauty this sacred month of uh, Dhul Hijjah for the Muslims who journey to Hajj every year and during that Hajj we are here to sacrifice the animal. Why it is a symbolic sacrifice is that so the ulama, the scholars tell us that every time you put the knife in the neck of that living creature with the will of Allah that you should make an intent you will also be destroying the evil deeds that you have or anyone have uh, developed over the years that just like you slaughter the animal you slaughter and slay away the evil and the bad deeds that we are sometimes very much accustomed to and then we fail to realize and this is the reason why this is called a symbolic sacrifice so I hope this really helps us all uh, be more righteous and near Allah during this beautiful season uh, may Allah accept our sacrifice and all our work that we do and may Allah purify our intentions and elevate us in this world and in the hereafter Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu the one, the one, the one